At the time of making this video, Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon, is worth an insane amount of money at over $135 billion. Bezos earns $1 every 1.66 milliseconds. <laughs> That's hard to grasp, so I'm going to illustrate how much he earns by periodically flashing how much money he's earned since the start of this video, like this right here. So what does the richest person in the world dream about? What does he strive for? Well, Bezos has an incredible vision for humanity and hopes to help preserve the Earth that involves millions of people living and working in space someday, starting with the moon. But before we talk about that, we need to talk about Blue Origin, Bezos' commercial aerospace manufacturer and space flight services company that he founded in September 2000. Bezos is pouring $1 billion per year into the company. Okay, so Blue Origin has two short-term goals that they are actively working on. The first is space tourism. They plan to send tourists to the edge of space at an altitude of around 100 kilometers on board the reusable suborbital launch vehicle, the New Shepard. Blue Origin completed their eighth test flight of the New Shepard back in April, and they plan to launch a manned test flight at the end of this year and finally begin launching commercially in 2019. Okay, and then their second short-term goal is the completion of the New Glenn orbital launch vehicle. The New Glenn will be a two or three stage rocket. The first stage will be reusable and the vehicle will have a payload capacity of 45,000 kilograms to low earth orbit. Blue Origin recently purchased a landing ship for the first stage of the rocket. They're already starting to refit this for that purpose. And the New Glenn rocket is currently being constructed at a brand new facility on Merritt Island near Spaceport Florida Launch Complex 36. And they plan to have their first launch in 2020. Now let's focus on their long-term goal, which is to help establish and support a permanent colony on the moon. And this is the first step towards Bezos' vision of the future of space and society at large. And Bezos' vision for a moon colony is different from what you might imagine. It will not be for everyday people, but more so to serve as a base for major companies involved in heavy industries. You see, his radical idea is that in the coming decades, heavy industry will start to shift to the moon and in 100 years, all heavy industry will be located on the moon driven by solar power. And at that point, the earth will be reserved as a residential and light industrial zone, which he believes will ensure the health of the planet. Heavy industry may look a lot different in 100 years than how it looks today, but heavy industry is defined as industries that are very capital intensive, requiring a lot of machinery and equipment to produce, Additionally, they often have a large impact on the environment. So in Jeff Bezos fashion, the first step begins with a plan to set up an Amazon-like cargo delivery service to the moon, which they call Blue Moon. And in March 2017, Blue Origin sent a confidential seven-page proposal to NASA and President Trump's transition team. The proposal describes their plan for a shipment service that would deliver supplies and equipment for a moon base to a crater at the south pole of the moon where frozen water is located. The supplies and equipment would be delivered by a lunar spacecraft and a lunar lander that the company urged the government to help fund. And Bezos recently said that they're going to develop the, the lander regardless if NASA helps or not. But there seems to be a chance that NASA may fund Blue Origin's lander. Back in April, as part of their new moon-focused exploration campaign, NASA released a request for proposals encouraging commercial space companies to develop technologies to deliver payloads to the moon, specifically lunar landers. The program is called the Commercial Lunar Payload Service, or CLPS. With CLPS, NASA intends to award multiple contracts through the next decade, with contract missions to the lunar surface expected to begin as early as 2019 and with a company's first delivery no later than December 31st, 2021. We will have to wait and see if Blue Origin is selected for a contract, but it looks promising since they are both proposing the same thing. Speaking of contracts, Blue Origin won a small contract from NASA to explore techniques for using resources from the moon. These studies are part of an effort to advance technologies for in situ resource utilization that would involve things like producing drinkable water, breathable oxygen, and rocket propellant from ice on the lunar soil. And Bezos is really big into doing things in the right sequence and does not like to skip steps. So he believes that the first step is building a really capable lunar landing vehicle and to send rovers to the poles of the moon in order to find out what's actually there and in what quantities and how hard it's going to be to extract and so on. And once we do that, then we can really begin seriously establishing moon bases. 
And this takes us to the European Space Agency, or ESA. The ESA is spearheading the Moon Village concept, which involves various space agencies or commercial entities to establish moon bases in the same region in the moon in order to help one another and share resources. The agency's plan for their moon base involves constructing catenary domes constructed out of specially designed 3D printers. The domes will be made out of the regolith already on the moon, and this will be tremendously cheaper than launching materials to the moon. So these domes will be formed out of cellular structures that will guard against pieces of debris and space radiation. But I think it's only a matter of time until the ESA starts seriously thinking about executing this concept. And this brings us back to what Blue Origin and NASA is trying to do. Um, and so NASA wants to start flying two missions a year starting in 2019 through at least 2022 with commercial lunar landers to deliver science and exploratory equipment to the surface of the moon. And that seems like an aggressive timeline, but hopefully that means that we will find out that NASA will help fund Blue Origin's lunar lander. This will be the first step towards an incredible vision of millions of people living and working in space. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. It's so cool to hear about Blue Origin's long-term plans for humanity's future in space, because despite being one of the most capable commercial aerospace companies in the world, they do not put themselves out there as much as they should in my opinion. And even though they have yet to reach orbit, I do believe they are one of the most capable commercial aerospace companies because of Bezos. See, half of the challenge of space exploration is funding, and Bezos could fund Blue Origin at its current operating costs for 135 years without generating any revenue. So with Bezos funding and his dedication, I believe Blue Origin will do incredible things in our lifetimes. I personally can't wrap my head around Earth being strictly a residential and light industry zone because that would mean a big portion of our products would have to be imported from the moon. And that's just a radical idea. Anyways, uh, but in the short term, the 2020s is going to be an incredible decade between what's going on with Blue Origin and SpaceX, what they have in store for us. And it's going to be a blast covering everything right here at Neoscribe. All right, so this was my second video since switching to a new editing software, Premiere Pro, from Cyberlink Power Director. And it's been such an awesome experience, but it's been a pain at the same time. If you don't know, Premiere Pro is a professional grade editing software. There's so many options, effects, it's gonna be many weeks before I'm comfortable with the program. I spent around six hours editing my last video and when I went to export it, I found out that I didn't set the right sequence settings. So I basically had to do the video all over again. The point I wanna make is that in these next few months, I'm gonna be experimenting with a lot of the features that Premiere Pro has to offer. So you may see some funky transitions or color grading or overlay effects. Just know that I'm having fun with the program and that's how I'm gonna grow as a YouTube creator because I, I really want to eventually be able to bring you guys the most unique experience as possible, visually through sound design and informationally as well. And that means I need to keep pushing myself incrementally on each video. Anyways, I would like to thank Bob Meyer for pledging his support on Patreon. You are truly awesome. And if you connect with my content and want to support this channel, you can check out my Patreon page in the description. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. Every bit helps. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time.